Hello, Survivor fans. We're back. Jeff Prost BFF. Okay, this is my show. Today is Saturday, so that means it's time for Secret Saturday. Jeff, I hope you're enjoying your Saturday. And to Jeff, I hope you're enjoying your Saturday. If you want to know why I said Jeff twice, you're going to find out very shortly, okay? So this is going to be a big Secret Saturday. No setup needed, no background music needed. This is just strictly me, my heart, and something a completely amazing that happened this morning like the most amazing thing that i would never thought have would happen has actually happened and i i'm stoked like i i'm lost for words i don't know how to react to this because if you're a survivor fan you will dream of something like this happening right so because today's such a big day because of what's happened this morning I'm going to drop a big part of my life today. So, Jeff, hopefully this might be one of the episodes you might check out if you get a minute, you know, during your production set time. Um, yeah, so talking about myself, I'm going to talk about something. I'm going to talk about the juicy stuff about me today. I usually try to save it for later on, but I'm going to talk about it today. So it has a lot to do with this. But before we get into this, all right. So the most attention I've gotten on this YouTube channel so far of Jeff Pro's BFF is the Jeff Varner videos. I said a lot of bad things about Jeff and I came to the realization that I should not judge. And Michaela Bradshaw, if you're, I know you've seen when I probably uh, tagged you on a tweet and you're probably like, what was that all about? Well, because I made an apology video to Jeff Varner and Michaela, you were a big part of that. You know, I came to the realiz realization on my own that I was judging too harshly and I don't want to be that kind of person that's just a bashful person, even though it was uh you know a lot of people say it was justified because it was an angry at reaction but you know my mom has always taught me not to judge and then lo looking at michaela michaela on her uh youtube channel uh michaela brash uh t with michaela b and if you haven't added her on youtube already please do so and and i think her uh yeah twitter is like michaela brad uh anyway but yeah y'all know who i'm talking about so follow her stuff if you haven't done so already and she's saying the same thing, like, take a step back and understand what's going on in Survivor. Understand these people are starving. Uh, they're in the cold, you know, they're in the wilderness. They're, they're getting, they're sleep deprived. All these different factors weigh in when you do something this mind blowing. And, and, and that's no different when it came to Jeff and the decision he made to say what he said about Zeke outing him about Zeke being transgender. And I made an apology video and I made a sincere apology because I need to... I want to be a better person for myself, okay? I have to free myself away from that type of negativity because I do not believe in it. Yes, I'll give my opinion. Yes, I'll give my opinion about who I think will win and who won't. That's fine. But to uh, to scold somebody, it's just not part of me. All right? So I make both of those videos. I tagged Jeff, I believe, in both videos. The bashing one? No, I don't think I tagged him in the bashing one. I did tag him in the apology video. And the thing is, you know, I understand that, you know, I'm just starting out. I'm not very popular. And I'm pretty sure, like, Jeff Probst, uh, they haven't really, like, really took time to look at this stuff. So that's okay. I understand. But Jeff Varner, however, he actually did look at my apology video. He really, like, looked at it and he appreciated it. So at 5.30 in the morning, I get this. All right. So let me turn all this down so you guys can see. Okay, gonna make it nice and dark. We're gonna focus in. All right, you take a little time to read it if you want. All right. So I'll read to you what it actually says. If I can get my phone back on. Okay, here we go. So the tweet actually reads, apology accepted. If I offer nothing else, let me extend my grace. It was an emotional event. Your emotion was justified. You're a good guy, DG. By the way, my name is Dimitri Green. Okay. So yeah, so Jeff Varner reached out. And reach back the actual Jeff Varner. You can look and see it's clearly a verified account. It's actually him, and uh, that was amazing that he reached out. You know, to uh, a YouTuber who has 10 subscribers. Wow! Like, are you serious? Like, you know, 
I know survivors don't consider themselves like celebrities, but they are to me because they got a chance to win a million dollars on one of the coolest TV shows ever made, the world's best game, Survivor. So to, yeah, to me, it's like having a celebrity like talk straight to me straight up. And, um, you know, this guy talked to me and said, hey, you know, I'm down to do an interview. Like what? No, let me show you the message. I'm gonna get a screenshot, all right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna screenshot this on the computer so I can show you this. So you can see my reply. You can just go ahead and pause it and read everything. So yeah, there you go, take a look at that. And this guy, you know, he wants to do an actual vlog and interview. So guys, we're gonna actually get a chance, I'm gonna get a chance to actually interview Jeff, get to know him, and get to ask all the juicy questions that maybe me and maybe some of you guys want to ask about the whole situation, how everything went down, and get to know Jeff better. And I think that's the one thing we gotta do. Get to know Jeff on a, on a conscious level that's not on CB, watching him on CBS because you have the day after show and all of that and people can still you know be judgmental of the fact that he's on national television but now we're going to be speaking directly to each other and you know I'm just super excited I'm stoked like I still can't wrap my head around it but this is actually going to happen like we're going to have a, a a Jeff Varner vlog with me Jeff Pro's BFF and that's going to be a real thing it's going to be a live interview and um and you guys will get to witness that right here on Jeff Pro's BFF all right, so yeah, um, stay tuned, guys. Now, move. Right. I'm gonna do a shorter video about that too and get that out to everybody. Anyway, let's get to me though. I have problems with my life, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and just rattle some of these things off, some of the big things about me. Um, since I was a kid, I, I've always talked to myself. Right? Like, I think out loud, but I'm talking to myself. It's like I'm having a conversation with myself, but I'm thinking that I'm th imagining in my own head if I was having a conversation with somebody else about a certain topic. So say I was talking about, let's just say the NBA playoffs, right? And I'm thinking to, I'm thinking in my own head, I'm talking to like my good friend Cedric uh, from Sherwood Forest Camp. And we're sitting here talking about like, oh man, you know, Paul George got eliminated from the playoffs and you know, I think Isaiah Thomas is, uh, you know, one of the best players in the league. I think he should be MVP or something like that. Knowing that Cedric is a Indiana Pacers fan, I'll have this discussion in my own mind, thinking about like as if he was right here and I was talking to him, right? But when I say it out loud to myself, it comes out in a mumble and it makes me look like I'm crazy. And there have people who legit think I have brain trauma or maybe I'm crazy because I'll people that know me, people that know me will say, yes, Dimitri, I know what you're talking about. Especially when I'm walking down the street. I'll be walking down the street having a discussion with myself or I'm playing basketball in my own mind and I'll be just... And people are looking at me like, what is wrong with this dude? And I know that I do it. And I've had people call me out on it and it hurts my feelings when they do, but I understand. Or you see me doing this to myself. See, people I know for a fact, people have seen me do that. And they're like, wow, like, are you okay? Like, what's going on? Uh, or they'll just laugh at me. You know, that's what I usually get. People just kind of look at me and laugh. Or they'll look at their friends and like, look at Dimitri. This dude, this, this dude, wild and now he tripping, you know. Well, I don't do drugs, so maybe I'm just crazy. Maybe there's something wrong with me mentally. You know, I have a lot of things about me mentally. I can't talk about everything. This, this vlog is already too long. But, um... I have, you know, I have issues. So what I did, I went to see a neurologist. Especially because, you know, I did play, uh, I did play college football for four years, five years actually, and uh, I wanted to make sure everything is right with my brain, you know. So I'm not gonna zoom in and do a whole lot, but I am gonna put this up here. This is my actual, uh, my actual report from the neurologist. All right, it has all these fancy paragraphs and all these fancy things in it, and um, I'm gonna read you guys the report. So uh, I won't say any doctor's names or anything like that because I don't think I should. Uh, I did go to, um, this is, the report is from UC San Diego Health. So University of California, San Diego, that's where I go. I'm, I live in San Diego, so boom, there you go. And um, basically I'll read some of this stuff. It says indication for referral, rule out seizure, clinical history of diagnosis, memory difficulties. I've also been told I might have some bad memory problems. So I also talked about that as well with the doctors. Um, 
Yeah, uh, they said findings when I did a EEG. A EEG is basically they hook up a bunch of wires to your head and they study all your brain waves and brain patterns. And they try to check to see if you're gonna have seizures and anything like that. Uh, it says, in quite weakfulness, low medium voltage, 10 hertz potentials can be seen in the posterior head regions. These antenae with the eye opening, generalized low voltage, beta activity, also observe maximal and frontal central intuition of the posterior dominant rhythm of the appearance of generalized theta potentials in association with slow rolling eye movements. That's saying a lot. You, if you're if you're not a, only a doctor could know what that exactly means, but um, at the bottom it says impression. Like what was the impression? It says normal wake, drowsy and asleep EEG. No electron electrographic seizures or uh, epileptiform discharges. Right? Okay. Then I also had an MRI done. So when I had my MRI done. This is the this is the report from the MRI. Um, Findings, diffusion weighted images of the brain demonstrate no evidence of, of acute infraction. There is no evidence of acute in, in, intracranial hemorrhage, extra axial collection, mass effect, midline shift, herniation or, uh, herniation or hydrocephalus. Uh, cephalus. The ventricles, uh, sulci and C sterns appear age appropriate. The signal intensi intensities of the brain uh, parenchyma, sorry about the, I can't pronounce all this stuff, um, are within normal limits. There are no signal of abnormalities or suspicibilities in the weighted sequences. Impression, no acute uh, intracranial abnormality. Specif specifically, no evidence of acute infection, intracranial hemorrhage, mass effect, or hydrocephalus. Hydrocephalus, okay? I talked to the doctor and he said, hey, your test came back normal. So for me, that's a personal victory. I believe the, the problems that I have with me mentally or, uh, or learned habits that I can fix on my own. Um, so that's good to know because, you know, going into Survivor, I can put a check on it. And I know when I do stuff like that, I know I can put a check on it. I can actually stop myself from doing it. So it just lets me know that I have bad habits and that's one of my bad habits and I gotta stop it because I creep a lot of people out. All right, long vlog today, Secret Saturday. I'll get this out to you guys whenever I can. Hopefully before too late tonight, but um, that's it. Thank you guys for listening. Uh, thank you, Jeff Varner. Uh, just thank you, man. You know, Just thank you for being you and being open to, uh, to working with me, doing this interview. I'm so excited for it. For you guys that want to see the interview and are excited and you guys have questions that you might want to ask me to ask Jeff or anything like that, uh, yeah, you know, like or subscribe the video and leave me a comment, direct message me. Uh, Jeff Prost BFF for Twitter. Dimitri Green, you can pretty much find me Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, okay? And um, yeah, man, uh, that's pretty much it. I will see you guys in the next video. Much love. Peace.